Yes, let's do this problem. Uh, the question is asking uh, find the basis and the dimension for the column space, row space, and the null space of A. So, this is what given. So, the first thing in this kind of question, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the ghost Jordan and then we can determine what's going to be the column space, row space, and the null space. So, first of all, let's do the ghost Jordan. So, if we, I copy this matrix down, so it's going to be 1, 0, minus 2, 2, 1, 3. 3, 1, 1. So in this case, I have to make the second. Uh, I have to bring it in the cost of number. To do that, I have to uh, make this one like uh, it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So to to bring that pattern, I have to make this one equal to 0. So to do that, what I have to do is I have to multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it to the second equation. So it's going to be 1, 0, minus 2, negative 2, negative 2, R1 plus r2 which is going to give me 0 1 then negative 2 that is going to be positive 4 positive 4 plus 3 is going to be 7 then here we have 3 1 1 I can directly solve this one too so it's going to be negative 3 times uh, first equation plus third equation so it's going to be negative 3 r1 plus r3 this is going to be uh, minus 3 plus 3 is going to be 0 then this is going to be 1, then this is going to be minus 6 plus 1 is going to be 7. So if you look at this one, uh, we have 0, 1, 7, 0, 1, 7. So if uh, I can eliminate one of these by multiplying this by negative 1 and adding with the third. So it's going to be 1, 0, minus 2, 0, 1, 7. If I multiply this one by negative 1 and add it with the third one, negative r2 plus r3 will give me 0 0 0 so it mean uh, it mean this this is this is combination of these two or something like that so this is not uh, like so this is the ghost Jordan pattern so we have brought the ghost Jordan pattern is 1 0 0 1 uh, and the main rule is whatever the value above or below the p weight should be equal to 0. In this case, we have 1 here and below is 0, above is 0, that's what we want. And we know from this one, we know we have two p weights. This is one of the p weight, this is one of the p weight, but in the third column, we don't have p weight. So that's going to be the free variable. But for the first two questions, column space and row space, we don't have to consider that. The, for the first two, we had to, uh, like for the column space, so let's do the column space. So, column space of uh, basis basis and okay so basis for column space is going to be column space is equal uh, space is going to be b is equal so b, if you look at the pivots so whatever the pivots carrying the column that's going to be my basis for column space so if you look at the first and second column are the columns that carries the pivot so it's going to be 1 2 3 and 0 1 1 therefore i have to write p is equal to 1 2 3 and 0 1 1 this is my basis for column space then basis for row space is going to be row space is going to be b is equal to the rows that carry the leading coefficient in this case the first row and the second row carries the leading coefficient i mean not uh, p words so the first and second rows are carrying p words so it's, it's this is going to be my answer so it's going to be one zero minus two and the second one is going to be two one three And the third one, uh, third question is asking, uh, and the null space of a. So to find the null space of a, I had to do this equation: a x is equal to capital zero. So which means uh, these values are going to be zero. So I copy this down again here. So since this is, you had, you don't have to do the ghost Jordan again because because we have already done the ghost Jordan and bring the bring it to the into this level. So we can directly substitute the zero and find the values in terms of free variables so in this case we have p right, right here p right here so we know 
there's no pivots in this one therefore this is my free variable variable so if we take x y c c is going to be free variables so let's see let's copy this down right here so it's going to be 1 0 minus 2 0 1 7 0 0 0 equal to 0 0 0 this is what null space means and then we can solve this in terms of free variables so first equation is going to be x minus 2 z equal to 0 the second equation is going to be y plus 7 c is equal to 0 so if I write in terms of free variable it's going to be x is equal to 2 z and y is going to be equal to minus 7 z now I can write it as uh, 2 z 7 c so sorry uh, minus 7 c so let's trace this it's going to be minus 7 z and c is going to be just c in this case uh, now uh, we can write the basis for null space basis for null space is b is equal to work but in this case we have to be careful because we can't write with the c c means c can be any real number so uh, c can be all real number so we shouldn't be writing the we have to so you write the simple element that can uh, that is possible so in this case I can take the C command if I take the C command it's, it's gonna become like 2 minus 7 1 so that, that's gonna be my mess basis so therefore we have to write that one as basis so it's gonna be 2 minus 7 and 1 so this is the answer for the basis for null space and now also they are asking for the dimension so in this case to find the dimension of the column space and the row space we have to count the pivots so like also we can say this is these two are linearly independent vectors because uh, the linearly dependent like one is eliminated this means uh, after you go to do the go student whatever the, the thing is remaining that's going to be linearly independent so we have done the go student already and found these two uh, are linearly independent so therefore this is dimension 2 so in this case two linearly independent vectors therefore this dimension 2 dimension is 2 and also uh, row space is also same thing dimension is 2 but for the null space it's different thing for the null space we consider the free variable so if you have one free fun free variable that's going to be dimension of 1 and if you have more than one like two free variable that's going to be dimension of two it depends on the, the uh, free variable so we had to be careful about that so in this case we have only one free variable in uh, for null space therefore this is going to be dimension of one so this is my final answer and we have we have answered answered all the questions i hope you guys like this video see you next time